I'm going to show you how to make virtually any garage door smart using a little device called Rat GDO and take you step by step through the setup that I did on my garage door so you know exactly what to do. Now, there have been a bunch of articles hating on Chamberlain, owner of the MyQ line of smart garage door controllers. This is a company that owns about 70% of the garage door controller market. So if they make a bad move, it's going to tick off a lot of people like me. This is exactly what happened when Chamberlain decided to shut off unauthorized access to its APIs, breaking the smart home integration for users of Home Assistant or HomeBridge. As a practical example, this meant thousands of users could no longer automatically close their garage door when they forgot to close it and are away from the house, lock the house door, or countless other home automations. This decision follows similar actions from Chamberlain, including discontinuing its Apple HomeKit integration and eliminating support for the Google Assistant. Even if you bought your MyQ garage door controller, specifically use such integrations. So if you find yourself in this situation, as I did and are wondering what to do about it, I'm gonna give you my recommendation including a step-by-step -step guide so you can take back control of your garage door and make it smart. So you've got a garage door opener from Chamberlain Group, including MyQ, LiftMaster, or Craftsman with a yellow learn button. You'll likely need additional hardware to control your garage door tech. There are several options to choose from, including iSmartGate, Tailwind IQ3 Pro, and Mayross. The one that I went with was RatGDO which stands for Rage Against the Garage Door Opener. Amazing. I'm not sure if it's meant to be pronounced Rat GDO or something else, but I'm going with it. Rat GDO is a small Wi-Fi control board that attaches to your existing garage door opener with three wires. It works over your local network using MQTT or ESP Home. It integrates seamlessly with Home Assistant, so you can then put it to use with Apple HomeKit or others. You'll be able to control the garage door and its built-in light with the status of the obstruction sensors. I'm going to walk you through five steps to set up your RAT GDO and get you up and running fast. First step, confirm that your garage door is compatible. RAT GDO works with almost any residential Chamberlain or LiftMaster garage door opener, including those with a yellow, purple, red, or orange learn button. Just know that the features may vary depending on your model. See the link in the description for a feature comparison. Second step is order Rat GDO. You can buy Rat GDO directly from the developer, Paul, for $30 or $44, gets you the control board plus all the installation supplies you need. That's what I did. I have no direct connection with Paul uh, who made this. See the link in the description to order. Third step is install the firmware. Connect RatGDO to a computer using a USB cable, open a Google Chrome browser, and launch the Web Tools Flasher. See the link in the description for the Flasher. Once it launches, you'll choose the firmware version. I'm going to focus on connecting via MQTT over Wi Fi. The fourth step connect RatGDO to your garage door opener. Now, once the firmware is installed, you're ready to wire up RatGDO and connect it to your garage door opener. If you're not used to wiring, don't worry. It's simpler than it looks. Now there are at least two different ways to do the wiring. What I'll call the pigtail only method and the pass through method. I've done both and both methods work. For now, I'm going to walk through the pass through method using supplies from the installation kit that I ordered. To begin, you'll need to strip the rubber coating to expose some of the wire on the red, white, and black wires. This is easiest with a wire stripper tool, but I don't own one. Instead, I used a Swiss Army style knife to cut around the wire insulation and then slide off the end to expose the wire, which I found to be quick and easy. Now you're ready to wire. It may sound like a lot, but I found it very doable and I am not an electrician. Remember to unplug the garage door opener to de-energize it before inserting or removing any wires. To begin, Push down the orange button and insert the red wire into the red control opening, which is fifth from the top on the RAT GDO board. Release the orange button and give the wire a tug to ensure it's secure. 
Then insert the white wire into the white ground opening fourth from the top, and then the black wire into the black obstruction opening third from the top. Next, remove the red wire from your garage door opener located on the far left of my model by pushing the orange button and then insert it into the red control at the very top of the RAT GDO board. This red wire controls the garage wall button and creates a pass through to the red wire that you inserted earlier, evidenced by the diagram on the RAT GDO board. Now you can take the red wire fifth from the top on the RAT GDO board and insert it into the slot on the garage door opener where you just removed the other red wire. Next, remove the white wire from your garage door opener, second from the left on my model, and pigtail it together with the white wire coming from the RAT GDO board. And then insert this pigtail wire back into the same position on the garage door opener. This is the only pigtail needed in what I'm calling the pass-through method. Next, remove the black wire from your garage door opener, located on the far right on my model, and insert it into the black obstruction opening, this time second from the top on the RATGDO board. This black wire controls the obstruction sensors and creates a pass-through to the black wire that you inserted earlier, evidenced by the diagram again on the control board. In my case, I was removing two black wires pigtailed together, one for each obstruction sensor. Now you can take the black wire third from the top on the RAT GDO board and insert that into the slot on the garage door opener where you just removed the other black wire. <sighs> okay, now the wiring is done and it's time to test out your work. Connect RAT GDO to power by using a USB cable and power brick. Then plug the garage door opener back into power. Try opening and closing the garage door using the wall control, wireless keypad, or wireless remotes, whatever you have, to ensure it's working. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. All right, fifth and final step, connect to Home Assistant via MQTT. So once the wiring is done, you've confirmed the garage door opens and closes using existing control buttons, it's time to integrate RATGDO into Home Assistant for smart control and home automation. Open Home Assistant and head over to your list of MQTT devices. You should find that RATGDO is already connected and ready to rock. You can click on the device to see a status of the garage door, open and close it, control the built-in light, and even see if the garage door motion sensors are obstructed or clear. All right, so this experience with Chamberlain was a reminder that when you have a cloud-connected device, even one that you paid for, you don't really own it. Features that persuaded you to buy the device in the first place can be taken away, which is just lousy. Thankfully, in the case of MyQ, there are alternatives that allow you to take back control of your garage door tech, make any garage door smart on your terms. In my experience with RATGDO, it brought back the features Chamberlain tried to take away and even added additional ones, such as the ability to remotely toggle the garage door opener light and see if an obstruction sensor is clear or not. Of course, it's ridiculous that I had to spend $44 for another device to get back stuff that I already paid for, but I'm really pleased with RATGDO and happy to support an individual developer committed to local control. Thanks for watching. Consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.